Well, many parents struggle to get their kids to go to bed at night, but sleep is essential, especially as they start a new school year. It can affect their learning, behavior, physical health, even their driving for teens. I spoke with a sleep specialist at CHKD about what you can do to help them get their Z's. Kids, they're so cute when they're asleep, but if they don't get enough shut eye, they can turn into little monsters. And with school starting for some of those kids, it's exciting or they're anxious, like going to first grade, they're excited, so they might have uh, some nightmares or waking. Sleep specialist Dr. Michael Struntz stresses the importance of sleep for better learning, better relationships, and safer driving for teens. So the risk of having car accidents and actually is increased dramatically if you're sleep deprived. You go with six or four hours of sleep for a handful of days, that's the equivalent of being legally drunk for kids or adults. How much sleep your child needs varies by age and the individual. In general, Dr. Strunt says pre-K through elementary kids need anywhere from 9 to 12 hours. Teenagers, 8 to 9 hours. He advises parents do three things. Turn off technology at least one hour before bedtime. Build a routine and enforce it. And if we do that as a ritual consistently, it makes the transition to falling asleep much easier for little ones and for bigger ones. The routine may include brushing your teeth, putting on pajamas, reading, or some other relaxing activity. And then having dim light, some white noise, like a fan that's running in the room that's boring, is great to help your brain turn off. And no phones after lights out. The TikToks and text messages will be there when you wake up. And you can tell your friends, love you, but I'll be signing off at this time. That's responsible, but it's also telling your friends, it's not like I'm blowing you off. Once they wake up and realize better rest makes them better in school, in sports, and relationships with friends and family, going to bed may not be such a struggle. Now, if you need help figuring out the right amount of sleep and bedtime for your child, the doctor says figure out what time they need to be up in the morning, back it up eight hours for teens and 10 hours for the little ones, go to bed and wake up at that same time for one week, even on the weekend. Now, if they are groggy, they may need more sleep. If they're waking up a lot earlier on their own, then they may not need as much sleep and you can give them a little later bedtime.